Hello, I'm Vivian Shen, and I'm from Columbia University. Um, today we have a panel about student involvement in aerospace. So with me right now, I have two different student clubs, one from Columbia University and one from Yale University, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves and what they do. Hello, my name is Gerardo Carranza, and I'm the co-president for the Yale Undergraduate Aerospace Association. And uh, I'm Scott Smith. Uh, currently, I'm a project leader for building an optical telescope for uh, Yale Undergraduate Aerospace Association. And next year, I'll be the co-president. Hi, I'm Olivia Scharfman. I'm currently a freshman at Yale in the Aerospace Association. And next year, I'll be coordinating the national involvement with SEDS, uh, Students for the Exploration and Development of Space. Many of you here will know what that is, but um, it's a uh, national collaboration between schools uh, for students who are interested and really passionate about space. Hi. Oh, hi. My name is Jorge Urbay. I'm the treasurer for the Columbia Space Initiative and a junior uh, major in computer engineering. I'm involved with some of our project teams, including the CubeSat team that we're designing a satellite to be put in orbit and uh, the High Altitude Balloon Launch Team. Hello, I'm Christina. I am a junior in Mechanical Engineering in Columbia Space Initiative. My role is serving as the Director of Technical Operations for the club, as well as leading a micro GNX design challenge. And I'm also involved in some other missions as well, including the High Altitude Balloons and Rockets. All right. So just to introduce our club, uh, the Yale Undergraduate Aerospace Association is Yale's largest engineering organization, and our purpose is to provide an environment and a community where anyone interested in aerospace, regardless of experience, can participate uh, at both a technical level as well as at a community level in getting more people excited about aerospace and gaining the technical skills that will allow us to enter into the industry and be able to work with professionals. Hello, is this working? Hi, so, oh, that works well. So, um, I'm Jorge Urbay again, and uh, so the Columbia Space Initiative is a new club at Columbia that is centered around getting students engaged in the aerospace community, and the, especially the aerospace tech community. We're mostly a project-based team that we take part in NASA design competitions, and we also design in a few projects related um, to just tools like high altitude balloons or CubeSats. And our goal is to get students both engaged in aerospace and even students outside of Columbia, like high school students, um, interested in aerospace. Right, so compared to traditional engineering, uh, this interest in aerospace, uh, the aerospace field is relatively new. So I was, we were wondering, um, what is the aerospace industry environment like for undergraduate students or students of your age who are trying to break into this field? So YUAA, or Yale Aerospace, is an organization which is only five years old. It basically started in a dorm room with a couple of people who wanted to build an, a high altitude balloon. And it has grown today to be an organization with approximately 50 members working across four project teams. And so one of the things that we've really learned about the aerospace industry is that it's very varied and expansive, which means that anyone, regardless of your major, can participate in the industry and can learn from the industry. Uh, we have majors ranging, I'm a mechanical engineering major, Scott is a CS major, uh, but in a, and Olivia is, a, is an electrical engineering major. Uh, but we have econ majors, we have astrophysics majors, because our goal is to get as many people as possible excited about the space industry right now. I can actually speak a little extra to that. Uh, the funny thing is, is Yellow Air Space wasn't actually just created five years ago. It was recreated five years ago. Uh, the first Yale Aerospace program actually dates back to the 80s when there was first a big interest uh, in youth involvement in the industry. And I think now, especially with the media involvement, with space exploration, we're seeing a lot of kids getting a lot more excited about that. Even before they come to college, you know, they're working with middle and high school students. People are getting really excited about space and we are filling that need to allow students to express their desires 
to learn about aerospace and to be involved no matter what their major. We have a, you know, a really diverse group of kids and the thing they have in common is that they're all really passionate about space. So at Columbia Space Initiative, we have lots of similar goals to the Yale Aeronautica program. However, we are even younger. We started in September of last year, so we're still less than one year old, which sets us in an interesting situation with our school, where there's still no established infra infrastructure, we're still exploring what missions we want to tackle, we're still creating the culture where students are aware that there are aerospace opportunities, which there were pretty much none up until we started our club, which is also why we created the club, just like you guys who also wanted to do some really cool space projects because we all love space. So we found the Micro G Design Challenge and we decided to participate and we were successful in being selected. And in the process, we have already established lots of connections with faculty, which are very helpful. And most importantly, we're getting the word out to our students and other members of the community around the Columbia. So we're also trying to recruit majors of all kinds. We have so far one English major. And we also have lots of people across different grades. We have grad students and undergrads. Um, so far, there's definitely a barrier of entry because when people hear it's an engineering club or it's something to do with space or aeroscience, they get scared very often. So they think it will be really hard. So a lot of people get turned off by it. So our goal is to create an environment where it's obvious that anyone can join, anyone can be an active member. So that's what I have to say. Can you add something? Um, yeah, just that it's also a nice environment where a lot of our members have actually interned in uh, specific aerospace companies, including Boeing or NASA. And it's great to actually give an environment where we show like how much, how much opportunity there is for like people to actually do fun work over the summer. Uh, like especially in our school, a lot of people do finance, and that's almost the norm. And it sets like this uh, this precedence for like most people. They don't know what they want to do. They do something in finance. And we also want to set a new norm for if you want to do something exciting, you do aerospace. So you described a little bit about what your clubs do internally within your schools. Um, I was wondering, could you elaborate a bit more on perhaps like one or two internal and external projects, so ones that you do for your own club or ones that you, where you interact with the outside aerospace field? I think Scott can answer this question, as well as you. Um, Scott is actually a project leader for the optical telescope team. Um, yeah, so uh, last year I was selected to be a project leader for an optical telescope team. Um, last year I was a team member on a radio telescope team. And uh, the radio telescope team was YUAA's first you know, uh, venture into you know, ast more astrophysics related topics. And so I wanted to con continue that with an optical telescope project. And I think it's worked very well. Um, most of my team members are not engineering majors. Um, we have several uh, astrophysics majors and even humanities majors. Uh, who are just you know, excited about space. Um, and we're also uh, focused on outreach uh, to uh, schools in the community. Um, in a few weeks, we're going to go to an elementary school in New Haven and talk to you know, young students about, uh, about astrophotography, astronomy, and space science. And we think that as, as an engineering organization, which has a lot of resources, uh, we have an opportunity to give back to the community. And we think that is something that the aerospace industry as a whole should definitely be interested in. And that's why uh, Yale Aerospace is currently you know, working more to get, get uh, involved in outreach to uh, the community. Uh, just to speak a little bit more about one of our other teams, I'm a member, I was a member on the rock team this year. We do rocket competitions every year, uh, except I think next year we're doing more of an engineering challenge for ourselves rather than a competition. This year we built a rocket that's going to fly, oh, 10,000 feet? higher than 10,000 feet, and uh, it's actually a bit of a biology project. We're going to be collecting bacterial samples in the upper atmosphere to uh, take down to be uh, sequenced uh, back at our labs. Uh, it's really, really cool. It's a really interesting payload, and we just finished uh, the rocket a few weeks ago. It looks great. Um, it was really, really amazing being part of a team of people who are there because they want to be there. You know, it's not a class. People aren't doing it, you know just to do it. They're doing it because they really, really care about it. 
and it's really, really amazing to be a part of that. And that's the case with every team. You know, there's there's the optical telescope team, there's a rocket team, there's also a UAV team for uh, uh, people who are more interested in lower flying objects. <laughs> you know, it, it was pretty cool what they did this year. And there's a CubeSat team that should be launching in a few years to you know actually bring our stuff out into space, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I agree. I think the most important thing we do is outreach. Uh. So, like Jordi said, we're most a technical mission-based club. That's not working. No, it's working. So we have a few technical missions that we're currently working on. One of them is the MicroGenX design challenge, which I am leading, which is a design in which we are, there were, there were five options, and we're choosing to design and build an asteroid anchor that will be tested at the NDL, which is the National Buoyancy, Border Buoyancy in Houston, which is really cool. In addition to that, we have a few more projects, such as rockets and high-altitude balloons. Our first launches were on Saturday, this past Saturday, and in terms of other projects, we're still, yeah, thanks. <laughs> we're still looking for more ways to expand and more projects to adopt. And in addition to that, we have a very strong outreach component where we often go out to middle schools or even have um, events on Columbia campus where students come to campus where we hold discussions or classes about space engineering and events like that. And just one other, um, one other thing I want to tie in is that we're a club that's very open to new ideas and new teams. That's part of our appeal, that if someone has a project team, like we're all, almost kind of a kind of like an incubator where like we adopt them and we try to help them find students in like both interests and there's this there's this um, atmosphere of like high speed and like high like pick up a project and all, and start getting um, get going with something and it's something we love something we're trying to maintain and that's it As I mentioned before, the interest in the aerospace field in colleges is relatively new. And so uh, it is not as developed, the community outreach, as perhaps other engineering majors like computer science, where uh, the companies have been reaching out to those undergraduate students for decades now. Um, so I was wondering, what requests would you guys like to make to the aerospace industry at large? What are some things you'd like to tell them or ask of them that could help you guys out in the long run? So surprisingly, despite the fact that we're so committed to aerospace, um, Christina was telling me, and we also share the common fact that neither of our universities, Yale or Columbia, have an official aerospace engineering major. And so we're starting to see a growing interest in aerospace, and so one of the things that we'd really like from the industry is for them to allow us to give us the mentorship and the resources so that we can empower students at our universities to pursue aerospace in a way that benefits them in, in the best way possible. Um, because we know we have a lot to learn from those in the industry, and we're very willing to put in the work to, to be able to gain the skills that will allow us to s succeed as engineers trying to get to Mars or wherever we end up going in space. Um, and also, uh, you know, we were incredibly grateful to be invited to this conference, um, and YUA was also invited to uh, a, a conference at MIT uh, specifically um, about astropreneurship. Um, and uh, it was great that we were invited, and we loved the opportunity. Um, and we would definitely encourage you know, any other conferences, any other conference organiz organizers to invite uh, you know, any student organization that they think might be interested, because uh, the knowledge that we've gained at these conferences is incredibly valuable, and we're going to take it back and definitely improve our organizations and increase student involvement in aerospace. So, yeah. I think uh, what I would add to the question of you know us really searching for mentorship from people from the aerospace industry is to just more I guess request for the industry to take note of how much untapped potential youth have to be participating more in the industry. Uh, you know, we, we actually met the uh, students from Columbia today, and we found out that they, they only knew of two or three other uh, aerospace clubs at colleges when there are aerospace clubs across the U.S., and you know, there are organizations trying to make an effort to encourage collaboration, but the untapped potential lies in the fact that we're not collaborating enough 
you know, as soon as we started talking to them, they're doing a ton of outreach. They're outreaching to middle school students, something that we would like to be more involved with. We have a lot of technical experience, something that they want to be more involved in and that they're really making a goal of their club this year. And just today, we decided to form some sort of sustained collaboration between the two colleges. And I think that there's a potential to do that on the national scale and there are existing infrastructures, but the industry isn't really involved enough or as much as we would want it to be because we're gonna be out and we're gonna be in the industry in a few years and we're gonna be wanting to be working for you guys and you know, bringing all the passion and energy and care that we have for space and for the industry there and we really are just starving for mentorship uh, from companies, so. We want to be invited to conferences, we want people to take note of the fact that we exist and we really, really care because there's a lot of potential for youth to be involved in the industry now and in the future and the more people recognize that, the more it will benefit both the students and the industry as a whole. I, I just want to add, oh. Oh. All right, I just wanted to add that, that was very well said <laughs> and it caught most of what I wanted to say. Um, but I did want to emphasize this, this hackathon is a great step in the right direction. It's something we're very excited that it's happening and that we get to be a part of. And it's something almost we envy from like certain un other industries like CS, or I'm sorry, computer science, where you get these kids who get to spend like a whole weekend programming and staying up all night really being part of like this really cool and young and exciting community. And it's something we could use a lot in the aerospace community. I mean they already really covered everything. I already said everything better than I could have said it. But I wanted to reiterate that, yes, events like this, or like the events that Professor Mike Massimino, who's next astronaut, who works actually at Columbia University, lets us participate in. So events like that are a great, great thing for all youth who's into aerospace. And if there, there can never be too many of those. Yeah. Thank you so much. Also, thank you to Mark Jackson from Fiat Physica for inviting us. This, this has been a great experience. Thank you, Mark. Agreed. So unfortunately, this is the end of our panel, but I'd like to re-echo what everyone has already said and thank everyone here for welcoming us and listening to us and hopefully um, we'll get to talk more after our panel. Feel free to talk to any of us, and we'll also be going around talking to you guys. Um, so yes, thank you for having us here, and a huge hand to the Yale Aeronautical Society and the Columbia Space Initiative.